Hi, welcome to the Market Structure Wave. My name is Michael Scotty. I'm editorial director here at TAB Forum. And today our guest is Vuk Magdalenic. Vuk is CEO of Overbond. Vuk, welcome. Good to see you today. Thank you, Michael. Good to see you. Today we're going to talk about fixed income trading, essentially the evolution of electronic trading, where it's going, the future of the sell side desk, how that will evolve. And but first, Vuk, tell us a little bit about your company, Overbond. You're you're basically a fintech company, but where do you fit into the ecosystem in fixed income? Sure, thank you, Michael. Oberborn is a quant analytics firm focused exclusively on fixed income data aggregation from multiple sources, cross venue, uh, cross um, uh, direct dealer connectivity, uh, data sets also that pertain to post trade data, settlement data, and fundamentals, so that we can automate uh, bond trading either on a sell side or a buy side trading desk. We service clients in Europe and uh, the U.S., but also internationally in Asia. Okay, so um, thank you for that. The uh, so no two asset classes are alike in this journey on the uh, e-trading evolution. Where exactly are we now in the corporate world, and that's what we're going to talk about today: corporate uh, bonds. Yes, I think traditionally as. Um, penetration of electronic execution on electronic venues uh, has been steadily increasing, especially in recent years. Uh, first in corporate, um, uh, you know, uh, Euro, Euro, USD denominated uh, securities, but then also across G10 currencies. We've seen a larger penetration of no touch, low touch uh, executions. And that's where the algorithm that can aggregate data process at speed, so the insight comes to the desk pre-trade becomes really necessary. Um, without um, a service uh, like Overbond that applies AI layers and serverless cloud infrastructure, the hurdles in terms of how much of the workflow can be automated at the desk get a bit limited. So I've seen uh, 15, 20% of the flow uh, being enabled as a no-touch execution. And that can definitely be raised to up to 30%, if not 35, 40% for corporate bonds. Okay. Um, and, and so that's where we're headed. And what's the technology that's behind that? It's, it sounds like uh, there's uh, some artificial intelligence, cloud computing, um, streaming data. Tell us, tell us about this, uh, what happens in the background, what's going on. Yes, what we usually uh, work with our clients on is these three aspects. It's not just one, let's say, aggregating data at the source that's necessary. Uh, you need to have a compute power or uh, what we call DevOps infrastructure that can process and go back into the history, optimize against composite venue specific or uh, you know company specific or trading desk specific data sets so that the insight is brought to a trader you know, within one or two seconds. So this serverless cloud infrastructure is what's required for processing to happen at this speed. And we bring it both at modeling layer where the AI models assess correlations and, uh, you know, what's important in the market, what's the all optimized pricing, liquidity score, for instance, but also at the data aggregation layer where the, let's say, a stream coming from um, um, a composite feed and venue-specific feed need to be mapped by the QCIP or ISIN number. And, and what's happening at the brokerage firms right now as far as implementing this type of technology? Is it, is it a race? Is it, uh, is it a slow process? What, in, in your estimation, what's happening there on the brokerage level? Sell side dealers are facing obviously um, an accelerated wave of digitization, um, especially because this execution management like service, you know, has been enabled in other asset classes. In the last 10 years, we've seen quite a robust penetration on uh, equities and FX side. So obviously executives are looking into how I can increase efficiency. So meaning uh, respond to more RFQs, no touch, uh, let's say um, uh, double my volume of responses but also doing so profitably. So oftentimes, you know, um, you can grow volume, but, you know, uh, trade at negative margin really have a significant negative PL impact. 
To that end, sell side dealers need to focus on also on what we call margin optimization layer, which is a model sitting on top of your best executable pricing and liquidity scoring model that will ensure that all the automated responses when let's say there's no trader supervising the response are also done so at the optimal margin. So the hit ratio is preserved and the positive PL impact is preserved. Is, is most pricing on sell side desks done electronically now, and this would be like the evolution, the next step for that, what you're describing? No, I, I'd say, uh, you know, meaningful and larger and larger percentages of incoming RFQ flow or bonds, let's say that, you know, uh, desk is approached manually over the phone to quote back are done electronically, but we're not at a hundred percent, especially in corporate bonds. It's probably 50, 60% where the model actually has a meaningful liquidity observed a market either executed trades or quotes on the venue to say this is the best executable price we always provide a risk metric in what kind of market situation we're in so a trader although if it doesn't have let's say best liquidity can know that this is the bond that last time traded a week ago the optimization to similar issues similar bonds was performed and you have a best executable price but you might be let's say five to seven cents off statistically so the risk is there. If there is another price adjustment needed, they can act in that situation as well. So if you think about it, there is a kind of a universe of the um, you know uh, kind of trades on RFQs coming into the desk. Tier one would be qualifying for no touch. Tier two would be qualifying for trade supervision. And tier three is this situation I've just enlisted where there is a heightened risk and perhaps price adjustment or specific trader adjustment is so Vuk, how is how has this impacted the buy side? Where where have they fit into this scheme of electronic trading and this evolution? Well, similarly, uh, buy side trade execution desks usually look into the post trade reports, the distance to mid modeled all optimized best executable pricing feed, versus where I've executed let's say six thousand trades in last quarter. We are focusing on the buy side use case with that post trade analytic, which was normally part of what we call TCA reports, uh, transaction cost analysis reports, is brought to the execution trader pre trade. Because of the cloud infrastructure, because of the ability of AI models to aggregate data and process at speed, now buy side trade execution desk can have a recommendation on best executable price risk metric, as well as the recommendation of where the counterparty to achieve best execution is. And I think that is on the level of what we call smart order routing or execution management service that sits on top of their OMS. Very, very similar to the equity world, more data, more information. Let's, that's how we can improve the process and get best execution. Very interesting. Um, one last question, Vuk. Has any of this evolution, have there been any surprises along this route? Well, I'd say COVID and, and what happened uh, during COVID um, surprised me uh, particularly a little bit. Um, the pace of digitization, especially the penetration of electronic volumes we're seeing in corporate bond trading are at all time high. And then consequentially, the automation wave where we have the execution management service automating larger and more meaningful parts of the workflow has been accelerated during COVID. I don't think that's the case across all the industries, but we're definitely, you know, seeing it in corporate bond trading automation. And, you know, we're excited about that trend. That's great. Well, Vuk, thanks for, for joining us today. We appreciate your time and sharing your insights on the fixed income market. Great to see you. Thank you so much, Michael. Okay, my name's Michael Scotty. I'm the editorial director here at Tab Forum, and thank you for joining us here in the market structure wave. Thanks so much.